Wendell should be the one laying there. Not your brother. I'm not leaving you behind. You start butchering their people, and our chances of making it out of here, any of us, go down to zero. They, they had some supplies just sitting out, and Norma caught me. I didn't think she was going to, but she, she, she let me go. Yes, that means the dance is over. Your funeral. Hope you're not thinking about jumping. Because if you do, I'm gonna have to come in after you. I'm not looking forward to that. I just needed some space. Uh, you're gonna need a bigger boat. Oh, freezing my ass off. Here. Coffee will warm you up. Go on. No, I'm good. No, your loss. Mmm, coffee. Hey, City, did you hear the one about the kittens who took over the boat? What? Oh, no, Berto, no. <laughs> it was a mutiny. <laughs> Berto, just stop it now, okay? I'm warning you. <laughs> God damn it. I despised a lot of them when I first got on board, but they grow on you. Like mold, they are. Nah, nah, sorry, that shit, isn't it? We're just a crew. Not friends, not family. That's how it started for me, too. Give it time. Before I joined up with Pete, my brother and I were cooped up in an old canning factory. Food for ages. A lot of fat and happy people. But then, a young girl got taken. We followed her trail. It wasn't hard with all the blood. Ended up cornering the people who took her in this warehouse. All ten of us went in. Only I came out. You did the right thing. And it got my brother killed. The right thing can kiss my ass. If 
few weeks later, I came across Pete, ways up the coast. He saw that look on my face and he offered me a job. Didn't ask any questions, didn't turn me away, just welcomed me in. I don't always get Pete, but I'm glad people like him still exist. I'll drink to that. Well, I think Berto's little routine is winding down so we can finally play cards. You care to join us? It'd be nice to have you there. Besides, none of us can remember the rules. So, it'd be the most uh, unique game of Go Fish you've ever played. Yeah. Do me in. Sounds like a challenge. You might regret it when I win that machete of yours. Hey there, Michonne. Sam, I knew you couldn't stay away. Don't fucking talk to me. <laughs> Sam, stop! Easy, all right? Jesus! Little help here! Please, I need a hand! Hey, let go of me! Thank you. Why did you stop me? What are you... We can trade him for our safety. But not if he's beaten any worse than he is. Safety? <laughs> that ship has sailed and sunk, ladies. <laughs> What's funny here is you think me and my sister are the bad ones. But you're the one who burned down our home. Forced our people on the shore to be easy pickings for the walkers. Families. Kids. Never did shit to you. Didn't stop to think about all the lives you were screwing up. All the shit they had to leave behind. Ignore him, Michonne. I saw what you did to the people on the mob, Jack. You murdered all those children. So don't lecture me. Get your facts straight, Michonne. Those folks came after us first. That's not what it looked like. You're done talking. You're the one who should be dead. Sam, calm down. My dad isn't even in the fucking ground yet, and you want me to calm down? I, I didn't mean he ruined everything. He killed... I know, I know. Pick you don't know. Michelle. Wait. You hear that? Answer me. Now. Michonne? You don't want to keep me waiting. I'm right here. Good. You might be sitting pretty thinking you have the upper hand, but your luck has changed. Michonne and Sadiq. They got the rest of the crew too. Oak and Berto. Look, whatever this bitch asks, don't... Sadiq! Don't worry. They're all in good hands here. But them staying that way is up to you. So listen closely. I'm willing to trade my brother for your friends. But anything you do to Randall, I will do to them. Do you understand? Look, you don't owe me anything, but please, we have to get them back. I understand. That's what I like to hear. We'll be there by sunrise. Be ready for us. Shit. <laughs> so... What do you think's gonna happen next? <laughs> 
<laughs> what? There's something on my face. The bruises aren't so bad. Right? I'm pretty sure she'll notice the fingers. Shut up! Maybe it won't matter. It could be worse, you know? At least he's not dead. We'll get our friends back. Alive. That's if Norma keeps her word. The minute you hand him over, she's gonna take that bag off his head. What then? <laughs> you all have no idea what you're in for. Ugh. He's right. Norma's not gonna leave us alone. She won't stop just because we gave her her brother back. Sure, you kept him alive, but we still burned all their shit. So we run. After you trade for your friends, we haul ass to the back gate and get the hell out of here. But she'd take the house. Let her have it. Wouldn't she expect us to run? So what? She knows where we are now. It's not gonna be that easy, Paige. If we run, they'll chase us. But maybe we get away. If we stay here, there's no chance we get out of this alive. I can't fucking listen to this. What? Sam, where are you going? I'll watch him. Sam! Stop. You're going to hurt yourself. God damn it. Sam, stop. Maybe you're all ready to walk away, but I'm not just going to leave him like this. We couldn't give my mom a real funeral. My dad and I... I had to bury her here. Just the two of us. He'd want to be with her. That's all I can give him. I understand. You should be buried with your mom. But we can't focus on that right now. We have to be ready to leave. I'm not going. What? Sam, you can't still be thinking. My that... mom is here, Paige. Everything I have of her. And Greg. If you want to leave, go ahead, but I'm not coming with you. I'm sorry. But I, I can't go. This house meant everything to my dad. It's all I have left. I won't force you to leave. If you want to stay, that's up to you. You don't have to leave either. We can defend this house. We can fight them off. No matter what happens, thank you. I owe you my life. Sorry it took me so long to say it. I know it's stupid, but I have to finish this. I've got some weapons stashed in my room. Old duffel bag. Should look familiar. You should make sure everyone's armed before Norma gets here. Uh, 
I, I was just wanted to know what it felt like. I, I wasn't gonna shoot it. Just. And? How does it feel? It's it's heavy. Empty. Can I help? I want to do something. Sure, go ahead. Those slide in there. Round side forward. How could they just die like that? Greg and Dad. I, I thought we were safe here. What am I supposed to do? You have to be smart. That's how you survive. My dad was the smartest guy I knew. That didn't save him. The guy who did it killed my dad. He's gotta, I mean, the things he said, the way he was laughing about dad. You wanna hurt him, don't you? Careful. Feelings like that can get you in trouble. I heard you guys talking. There's more people coming to the house. Sam's hurt. If, if she, they can't hurt her too. You have to stop them. Sam needs you right now. Go, help her. Here. I, I don't know if I'm ready. You know, to have one. Take this to your sister. Norma's on her way. Things could go wrong in a hurry. Wish it didn't always come to this. right through this. Not gonna be able to look at that the same way again. I'm a guest in this house. Where are your manners? Is that music? I know you're scared, but you shouldn't hide. That only makes the bad stuff seem scarier. I'm not leaving. As long as I stay in my fortress, I'm safe. It keeps all the bad stuff out. 
I put pillows and blankets against the wall. Looks pretty sturdy. I bet it's kept you nice and safe for a long time. That's good. It has to. Because of them. I know what those monsters out there are. One to go. Grandma told me about them. It's what happens when someone eats another person. Oh? I hadn't heard that one before. Do they scare you too? They make lots of noise. Even at night. I'll tell you a secret. They scare me too sometimes. Really? But my dad's not scared of them. I've been waiting for him. Where is he? Why didn't he come get me yet? Where is my dad? I'm so sorry, Alex. Something terrible happened. A bad man came and hurt your dad. What? He shot him. No! I don't believe you! I want to see him. Please. Sometimes awful things happen. <laughs> And there's nothing we can do about it. Did my dad be become one of them? It it it's what happens, right? No, no, don't think about things like that. We just need to keep going. <laughs> it's all we have to do. The rest doesn't matter. It's not fair. Alex, you need to be strong, okay? I can't. Oh, hey, I, I didn't hear you come in. Here. Were you able to talk some sense into her? Or do you still think digging a hole is a good use of Sam's time? I've never seen her like this. I'm not gonna stop her from burying her father. You act like I'm doing this to be cruel. I get why she wants to do it, but we just can't. Not with Norma on her way. I don't know why Sam thinks she can protect her brothers here. I'll be out of your hair soon enough. Never belonged here anyway, same as you. That's one thing we got in common. Squatters in other people's lives. This is your home. This place was never mine. They let me hang around, play make-believe. I left my real life a long time ago. Norma's gonna be here soon. If they're not ready, I won't stick around just to watch this fall apart. She's so stubborn, though. You can't leave James and Alex. They've lost enough today. I know. I know. I'm not trying to hurt them. The Fairbanks kept me safe, but I don't know if I can do the same for them. Or Greg. I remember getting my law degree. Doesn't mean much now. Daddy. 
John, take care of our children and take care of yourself. I'm sorry. I know that doesn't help or explain anything, but it's true. I can't stand watching you and the kids suffer, knowing what's going to happen to me and what I'll become. Better to spare you that pain. I love you more than anything. Sophie. really happy together. Just gonna keep ignoring me. Here, Pete. Thanks. Not gonna stop and say hello. Oh, Michonne. I'm uh looking for Alex. Have you seen him? I want him to be there when I say a few words for Dad. He wasn't at Mom's funeral. He's hiding in his closet. Thanks. I'll go get him. I'll meet you outside. Sam, you okay? Greg and Dad, I just, I don't really know what to say. Where am I supposed to start? I don't know. I, I think it should just be family here. I'll give you a moment. Hey, you okay? Michonne. Don't worry about me. I'm okay. Fair enough. You know, I envy them a little. They've managed to hold on to something we all lost a long time ago. Something like normal. I don't know how to describe it. Feels like before. 
Just a little bit. Your boat comes close to that. You kind of forget everything else while you're out there. Hey, I decided to stay. For the kids. Don't get cocky. It had nothing to do with what you said. Uh-huh. Michelle? She's here! Huh. I thought we had more time. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. Sam! Just go upstairs with your brother, okay? I need you to hide until I come get you. <sighs> What's gonna happen? He gonna hurt us? Y you'll stop them, right? Right? Stay out of sight and you'll be safe. Norma's not after you. Everything will be fine. Stay together, no matter what. We will. Okay. I can get a clear shot of the front gate from upstairs. I'll cover you. If I can. I hope it doesn't come to that. You better not miss. I hope I don't. Paige, if anything goes wrong, I need you to take care of James and Alex. Don't talk like that. Paige, please. Sam, you know I'll... Grab Randall and meet us outside. 